G'day guys, if you don't know me, my name is Chuka and I'm an NBA 2K21 player for the LG Die Wolves here in Australia. Now today, I wanted to make this video, it's something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, and that is to discuss the upcoming 2K22 um, 250k tournament. Now, this year, it was quite successful, there's a lot of people watching, it was a big event on Twitch, uh, and Ty Devo ended up beating Splash in the uh, to, to take home the big prize money. However, there's something that has been on the minds of a lot of people outside of the United States that really needs to happen, and I'm going to, in as little time as possible, explain to whoever's watching, you may be a fan, you may be a player, you, potentially a 2K dev if you guys are watching this, all I ask is that you give me your time, and if you share the same thoughts, share the same opinions, or if you have the power to change something in this community, I please ask you to share this video around, but we'll get started and I won't take up a lot of your time. Just a quick note before we get started, this is my first year of proper my team. I was a park player before this. Um, I did a, a, like a tiny bit of pro and all that, but I'm I, this is my first year of playing properly my team. I played since season six, so I've, I've played as much comp as I can here in Australia, uh, but there's a few things that I, from my perspective, I've looked across the board at different games, a lot of esports across the world that I think that 2K can implement to make the game and make the competition have a bigger revenue and also a bigger audience. Alrighty, my first example of a, a company or an esports uh, game that does this very well is actually FIFA. Now, FIFA does get a lot of hate. A lot of people throw shade towards EA, similar to 2K. However, the way that FIFA run their global series, especially this year, was very, very interesting. I feel like 2K can implement this and hopefully make it a bigger all-around event. So currently the way that FIFA does it, they have regional qualifiers or regional events that are held over South America, West Asia, Europe, East Asia, South Africa, North America, and here in Oceania. Now, what happens is you can see the screenshot here on the screen. Uh, this season, players will compete against one another in regional tournaments over several months. The top performing players will then be invited to compete in their re respective regional playoffs at the end of the year. Then after that, they can get invited over to London, like my boy Die Wolves Dylan, who, you know, he's a pretty good player. But that's besides um, the point. He is actually going to be invited to London to go across and play at a LAN event against the actual, the actual best players in the world. So this has got the best players picked from every region. They've played against the players from their region. They've played against the best from their region. And they've ended up winning these, these national, these continent events that would then be brought to the one area in London to play against each other. Now, can you imagine the audience engagement that could come out of having the best players from Oceania, so that's Australia, New Zealand and, and, and the rest, the best from North America, so your Thai Debos and that, the best from uh, best from the rest of Asia, the best from Africa, Europe. Imagine having all those players to come together. Maybe you have two or three from each of those continents, each of those areas, come together and play at one LAN event. Maybe invite them out to a 2K event in America, wherever it has to be, and have a LAN event there. Have the actual proper, what is it, the Xbox and PlayStation sides, battle it out there. That way, if it's streamed on Twitch, you're going to have thousands of people watching from different countries, watching these players that they've seen grow from the bottom, and, and they can see them battle against the best. They can be rooting for them. This is something that... I experienced, like, I was watching Dylan throughout the FIFA region, like, playing through Oceania itself, and then pushing, it. now he's into going to London later this year. It's absolutely incredible stuff, and I know damn well that everyone in the FIFA Australia community will be backing him in London. That means that not only will it just be North American players playing, or just European players playing in the Europe competition over in London, this involves people from all around the world. This is something that 2K can do. Now, the reasons why, why should 2K in Implement this now with larger audiences comes more revenue this will I I don't know the business side of it I'm sure there's there's laws I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff behind the scenes that has to happen in order to make this happen however we're getting to the time of year where 2k22 news is about to start coming out it's gonna be uh, as of tomorrow most likely when this video is actually posted 2k news is gonna be coming out right now so it is that time of year where this sort of stuff needs to be organized now there is one more thing I have to talk about and that's the actual qualifying stages to get into the 250k tournament. Now, the way it is at the moment from last year, I actually wasn't playing my team when this happened, but from my understanding, there was four qualifying events that happened that was a 20, it was a, a worldwide global event where you would play and you would rank against 
players all around the world, depending on your console. So I know that Ty Debo does have a video on it, so props to him, I've watched that video. He has a video of him playing against people, getting quits, smashing people by 100 points, etc., and getting on top of that leaderboard throughout this, this section of time, right? Now, having an event that's global comes with one issue, time zones. Here in Australia, I did I had a look before at the uh, actual the actual brief of it. It was around like 2 a.m. Australian time. How how I don't understand how we can be expected to play in these tournaments and compete. This is something that if it's changed, as I said before, if you get people leading regions from around the world, the revenue and the, the, the audience engagement will be so much higher than what it is now. I can guarantee you that. It will be so much higher. There will be people talking about it from different regions. It will involve different people from all. It will give people a chance. And the one thing, the main thing I want to get across here is that no matter what, no matter who goes to that competition, Ty Debo might still win. Props to Ty Debo, he is a phenomenal player, he's one of the best players in the world, if not the best my team player in the world. He has proved that. But why not give people, like myself, like other people in Australia, like other people in New Zealand, why don't you, and Europe, and Asia, and all those different countries, why don't you give those people a chance to play and get better at the game, play against competition, have these experiences of going to these 2K LAN events? Because that is a once in a life, that is, a, that is an opportunity no one will ever forget. And not only that, $200,000. It translates to like 260 Australian dollars. That's a lot of money. That is life changing money from playing 2K. I really just want to give a hypothetical here. I'm not here to say that if I go over and play, I'm going to win. But give a, give a hypothetical here. If I, as an Australian, go across to America, meet whoever over there, end up winning this $200,000 first prize pool, if I win that and come back to Australia, imagine the Australian news articles, imagine the popularity, people will see this. It will not only affect 2K in terms of having players from different regions see these professional players come up. Not only that, but it will see people from other esports. This will see people, if it happened to be on the news, it will spread to thousands of people. If it happens to be, you could think of Europe, you could think of Asia, you could think of Oceania, all of these continents. If a winner comes from those continents, imagine the spread, imagine the audience engagement from those countries, from those continents, that this could happen. It is, it is, it is unbelievable. And I really do think, I know I'm rambling here, but I honestly, give us a chance. Give people outside of North America a real good chance. I know there was two players from Europe that were in the qualifiers, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken. However, they had to play on delay. That, let me repeat that. They had to play. They made their way to the final 24 or whatever it is, but they had to play on delay. They had to play against the best players from North America on a 200 MS delay, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a big delay, right? So if people from here in Oceana happen to happen to play at 2 a.m. and get enough games to, to make qualifiers, then they're gonna have to play on 300 MS to even compete for to get final two anyway. This this is something that needs to change, and I promise you that it will. If if there's anyone from 2K watching this or happens to skim over this video, please bring it up. Just bring up this opportunity because it will change so many people's lives. All right, I do apologize. That video was quite a rant. Um, I don't usually go off like that, but I've been I've been thinking about making this video for so long. I've been putting it on Twitter that I'm going to be making it for so long. But all I ask from you guys, whether or not, as I said, if you're a player, if you're a viewer of mine, if you're a viewer, if you've never seen my ugly mug before, if you have no idea who I am, or even if you don't play 2K, if you want to see Australian esports, if you want to see worldwide esports succeed, I ask you to please. Just either like this video, I've put it on Twitter, share it around a little bit, get this volume up and make sure that this is heard because there are people that have the platform that aren't using it and I'm not at the size at the moment where I can, I don't think I can make a big dent, but I want to, I want to get things moving. I've, I've told people, I've told a lot of people that I want to get things moving and this video is going to be the start of it. I promise that this video is going to be the start of it. I, all I need is your help. And if this, if it happens to be once again someone at 2K watching this, please bring it up. Just, just that's all I'm asking. Please bring this up, and it can change people's lives worldwide. And it, not only that, it can potentially in, increase audience engagement. It can bring in more revenue. It can help a lot. That's all I ask. So thank you for watching this video. We'll go back to normal content after this. 
But for now, I hope you guys have a lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.